back to my channel so in today's video i thought i would do a quick video on how i blend i've had this question asked a lot so i'm going to start off by saying how not to blend and then i will show you how i actually do my blending so when it comes to blending it's very easy to go in with really really hard pressure just to kind of get the job done a lot quicker so by this what i mean is you take a pencil this isn't as sharp as i like my pencils fairly sharp but you go in and you press really, really hard. So you can see that my, oh, you can see how hard I've just snapped the end of the pencil. So people press really, really hard. So that's the first colour. They'll then come in with like another colour. So I've got my purple and they'll do the same thing. They'll try and blend over the top with that purple. But what you're going to see is when we do, when we blend the way that I like to blend or the way that I do blend, can you see how we've got this really harsh line between them? And there's kind of no way for me to, kind of get that looking smooth even if I came back with this blue and tried to blend over the top I'm just extending that blue line so I've got a really harsh line so the way that I blend is I start off with a base layer lots of light layers sharp pencils and lots and lots of blending and I'll show you how I do that now so what I'm going to do is start off with a base layer now these are quite cold colors so I'm going to start off with my cold gray one and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use pressure, but not as hard as this. So I'd say medium pressure. And what this is going to do is it's just going to smooth out the surface of the paper. So I'm going to make this quite a long strip. Now with the Fabriano, so this is on um, Fabriano Artistico Hot Press Watercolor Paper. Hopefully you can kind of see, we're getting, oh, hang on. You can kind of see the grain coming through. So by using a sharp pencil... I'm going to start to flatten this too for the paper, like we've done here where you can't see any of the grain. And this just makes a nice surface to work on top of. Now, I don't always use cold grey one. If you've followed any of my tutorials, you may know that I use ivory um, or I use warm grey one from the Polychromos. From the luminance, I like to use the buff titanium because it's got a creamy colour. Um, so I use different colours for the base layers, just dependent on what is needed at the time. So, got our base layer now. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with a light blue. So this is um, Sky Blue from the Polychromos range. Again, I'm doing this demonstration with the Polychromos. If you want me to do it with a different brand, I've got the Luminance and the Pablos, then I can do that in another video. And I'm just going to lightly, and I am lightly, applying some pressure, and then I'm just going to... Where I want this to be quite nice and blue, going over the top. Now, what I'm doing differently here is I am using a sharp pencil. I'm going to rotate it quite a few times, but I'm using light pressure. And I'm just going to come to about there. And if I need to make it... Oh, oh hang on. Right. Um, so if I need to make this a bit more blue, I'm just going to, again, come over... And blend it outwards so what I'm doing is I'm using the lighter pressure where I want it to be lighter increasing my pressure where it's going to be a bit more blue toned and then again decreasing pressure as we come over I've then got another shade of blue now this isn't as sharp as I would use if you compare to that pencil that I've just sharpened so with the Fabriano I really recommend using really sharp pencils where you can it will really help cover the grain of the paper um, this is probably sharp enough for some people, just not sharp for what I like to do. Right, so I've now sharpened this. Now we're going to come sort of, we want it light blue into the dark blue. So I'm going to come about here, again, light pressure. And I'm just going to start to shade over with this dark blue. And then as I come where it's light blue, I'm just going to loosen that pressure. Now another way to get these to blend is to go back to this light blue. I'm just going to come over the top again. And then I'm just going to increase my pressure slightly over the top of that blue. Not by much, just ever so slightly. Go back to the blue. So I'm using uh, cobalt blue now. So if you wanted to follow along with how to do your blending, uh, just so you know. And again, I'm going over with the cobalt blue and then just lightly blending. And hopefully you can see we're getting a nice transition now. Back and forth. So this is why in my tutorials you'll see me going back and forth between colours a lot. It is about kind of that back and forth motion. And if you're not covering the grain, you could 
especially if you're not doing fur we could come across like this way light pressure just to get a nice blend there i've got a bit of a harsh line there that's fine and then i can just blend out and then i can just bring this cobalt blue further down here and then again i'm lightening my pressure where it's going to blend into the darker blue so the darker blue that i'm using now is the indan Freen blue and again i'm just going to come in where i want it to be nice and dark blue and then just lighten my pressure so if you're struggling with your pressure don't hold it as low down the pencil so when we did this bit i was really holding right close to the tip of the pencil and pressing like really really high like this if you're struggling with your pressure hold your pencil halfway up when i try and press hard on the pencil now you can see the difference so if you struggle with getting your pressure correct hold your pencil higher up um, it is something that you will learn over time and then i'm just using that lighter pressure to blend there and then i can blend this again you, making sure i'm using that sharp point of my pencil And then I can start blending it outwards where we'll start blending into the purple. And then I'm going again back to my cobalt blue to blend. And then another way if you're struggling with the blending, we started off with the cold grey one as a base layer. So we can come back over nice and lightly with the cold grey one to help with that blend. But hopefully already um, you can see this really nice transition between the shades rather than up here. Um, I'm then going to take my purple violet. So we're going to go into the purple. And again, nice sharp pencil. Obviously you can kind of see my base layer around it. So if this was a, a piece I was doing, I would make sure that I go right up to my baseline or shape it so it's right up to the baseline. And then I'm blending again into that blue and then I'll lighten that pressure outwards. And then I can take this in, in, in Danfreen blue and again just lessen that pressure as we're blending into that purple. So you want a nice blended transition here. And what I'm making sure is that it looks quite seamless. So I'm going over areas multiple times if need be. Going back to the blues and the purple. And just using that lighter pressure. I'm just going to go back to that cobalt blue here. Blend that out. And my sky blue. Okay. And then I'm going to take my uh, purple violet. This might be too close in colour to the violet, but we'll make it work. Again, going over that bit where I want the blend, a bit harder pressure. And then lightening off my pressure. As we come where it's going to blend into another colour. Back to that violet. And press a bit harder so this looks a bit different and then i've got my light red violet i can come over the top again again just blending so back to my uh, light red violet Back over my, uh, so that was the purple violet, sorry, this is the light red violet. And then again, if you're not happy with the transition, you can blend over with your cold grey one. So your lightest colour will just help give you that really nice seamless blend. Now, before you use this cold grey one elsewhere, make sure you've got a scrap piece of paper. If I was to draw with this, can you see how it's mucky because I've just gone over? um all these colors so you can already see the difference so if i was to do this if i was to do this transition with that really hard pressure just to show oh so you can see how hard i'm pressing because i'm breaking the nibs and this is how i've seen some people blend now if that's the look you're going for then great but i just feel when you do it this way you're not getting that really seamless 
transition and by building up the layers especially if we've got like a blue dog we can really build up the layers of color that are shining through and being reflected a lot easier when you're building up layer after layer after oh, so you can just see just how hard i'm pressing whereas i didn't break any of the tips down here because i'm not pressing hard i'm using really light pressure and we have that base layer so hopefully you can kind of see the difference so i've tried to blend over the top of these colors but it doesn't look as seamless as this transition so I hope this video has helped. I know it's a quick one, but it's just a quick way of showing you how I do um, my blending and how I would blend different colours together. If there's anything that you would like to see, let me know. Um, I've had questions about doing a pressure one, about different pressures. So obviously this is hard pressure, this is lighter pressure. So I will definitely get that filmed. Um, but yeah, anything else you want to see, let me know down below and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye everybody.